Hello everyone! Welcome back to Royalty Soaps and the 12 Days of Soap Miss. Today I have a really fun bath and body themed craft kit. It is from Wholesale Supplies Plus and it is a slime bubble bath. I think that's what it is. From all things I've tried to figure out, that's what I'm landing on. It was originally called Monster Slime Bubble Bath, but they rebranded it to Slime Bubble Bath with Toy Duck. If we're lucky, our final product will look something like this and will have the texture of slime and the functionality of bubble bath. This is one of the ones I'm skeptical of, but it was so intriguing and it honestly looks so cute. Like what kid wouldn't love this? It's perfect for the holidays if it works. So that's what I'm gonna try for you today. I'll let you know if it works, what it feels like, what it smells like, and who knows if it's an amazing kit, what a great thing to give to a younger little person in your life, or even somebody who just likes to make fun crafts. Maybe you wanna make it yourself and give away the individual products to family members. There's a lot of things you can do with a craft kit, either for someone else to make or for you to make and give away. So I shipped this kit alone and you can see it's not an inexpensive kit. It's $120, but it should yield us 16 jars. So that is $7.64 per product unit. That's not the best that I've seen, but it's certainly not the worst I've seen. I'm gonna go ahead and take the time to unpack everything relevant but the little rubber duckies I'm going to leave in their packaging until I need them. Same thing with the jars and lids. There's actually not that many ingredients, which is nice because I bet this is super beginner friendly. It says it'll take about an hour to make and it's the easy level. It also comes with a huge amount of pearl body wash. This is a sulfate and paraben free pre-made base so that you can customize it with whatever color and fragrance you want, but it takes all of the hard part out of formulating a custom body wash. We have two little plastic beakers here. They provided you with a hairnet. That's one of my favorite things about a kit from Wholesale Supplies Plus is that they always provide a hairnet. We have some xanthan gum. That's a transparent thickener. And we have our two colorants here, a purple and a yellow. These are both very vibrant. For the fragrances, we have grape and we also have lime mint. So let's give these a little sniff test. Lime mint first. Ooh, that smells really nice. It's fresh and zesty. And then let's smell the grape. Oh yeah, smells just like a grape Jolly Rancher. That smells really good. I think I'm gonna make the grape scented one first. And they want me to pour out 64 ounces of this body wash that is honestly so pretty. Pearlized body washes are just gorgeous. This is also a really, really lovely thickness. So I'm gonna get 64 ounces in here using my KD 7000 scale. It's my favorite scale. I've used it for years. And then I'm going to go nuke this for about one to two minutes. We're just gonna get it nice and hot so it blends with our xanthan gum and dissolves it well. Now I'm going to add six teaspoons of the xanthan gum. I hope I'm saying that right. That's the only way I've ever heard it said. Six teaspoons into my little container here, and then we're going to blend it with that hot body wash. Wow, that's a lot of xanthan gum. After two minutes in the microwave, the body wash has definitely been warmed up and is a lot thinner. It's so funny how just adding heat to a body wash will completely liquefy it. It went from thick and goopy to nice and runny. I'm sure it's going to incorporate super well with the xanthan gum. So I'm just going to cover the top like they said to. And then they suggested that you use a mini whisk to mix the powder until well blended. But I have something even better. These electronic milk frothers will save your life. They create such a complete emulsion so that nothing 
is gunkin up. We're clearly gonna need a little more because I haven't even used it yet. <laughs> Okay, I'm pretty sure I did what they wanted. It's obviously super, super gloopy. <laughs> wow, there's a whole bunch at the bottom too that did not get incorporated. So we're needing quite a lot more uh, than they originally recommended to get everything incorporated. The instructions say, pour enough warm body wash to cover. Well, that wouldn't have been nearly enough to get all of that powder incorporated. So I'm spotting a potential problem here, which is that getting all of these teeny tiny bits dissolved is proving incredibly difficult. I mean, I haven't even gotten all the powder in, and it's still really chunky. So I'm afraid to put it into my body wash now. Otherwise, I feel like there's just going to be chunks of xanthan gum floating around. But I don't really have another option. And I have already um, kind of made things up <laughs> instead of just following instructions. So who knows? Maybe it'll dissolve now that I've added it. Um, maybe it just needs a little bit more liquid to grab onto. I don't know. We'll see. If it doesn't dissolve completely and if there are little chunks in the batter, well then maybe I will amend it for our lime slime. But for now, I've just got to get this all mixed up. I feel like a very useful tool at this point would actually be a stick blender. It may create a lot of bubbles that you have to wait until they dissolve to continue, but I bet it would get all of those little pieces incorporated. Okay, the viscosity is still super varied and you can see little bits floating up to the top. I just am not going to reasonably be able to incorporate all of that without the aid of some sort of a blender. Because I can't get a good emulsion on this, I'm going in with the stick blender. <laughs> Okay, y'all, I have been blending this on high for like five minutes <laughs> and it's still not fully incorporated. So I don't know if I didn't get my shower gel hot enough. I don't know if I got it too hot. I don't know if I added too much water. I just don't know, but there's still a lot of unincorporated xanthan gum that's in there. At this point, it is pretty gummy all the powder is incorporated, but some of the bigger chunks you can probably see on the top are just not completely emulsed into the batter at large. Like here's a little piece right here, which looks kind of gross right now, but maybe it will look better after we have a little bit of color in it. I'm now pouring in the polysorbate and the fragrance. And of course our color, they said you can add up to a teaspoon. So you know what I'm gonna do, add a teaspoon. And with this mixture, I know I can show off the skills of the mini blender. <laughs> Neons are really hard to get completely blended, but between that polysorbate and this mini mixer, that colorant didn't stand a chance. Now it says to add this mixture, which let me just clean that up real quick. Woo! We're gonna add this mixture. Ooh, so slimy. Use our teeny tiny spatula to scrape out the little containy. Awesome. And then it says to blend this in gently. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now, as far as the texture goes, it doesn't really remind me of slime. It reminds me of what happens if you leave a bar of soap in water and then you like play with it. Like, come on, we were all kids once. <laughs> you know, you brought a cup into the shower and let your bar of soap sit in it so that it would become this like snotty texture. <laughs> So at this point in time, most everything has been blended in, but it's very, very runny, which I don't think is that great because we have to put this into jars, implying, of course, that people should be like scooping it out with their hands. And in my opinion, it's not quite 
thick enough really for you to reach in and scoop out. It still very much has the texture of a body wash. So I guess what I was supposed to do uh, has been done. It's still a little chunky, still a little runny, but I followed instructions. So who knows, maybe if I let it sit for a little while, it'll thicken up as it sits. They said add just enough to leave room on top for the yellow duck. I'm not entirely sure how much that is. Let's try this much. Here's our little ducky. Isn't he cute? Okay, I think that'll fit. That was just about the right amount. Okay, I filled some of these up a little more than I filled the others just to see how much I can get away with for the duck. So if I submerge him a little more, we can obviously get more in there, but I can see Look at how much I have left. And I only am allotted eight jars. So let me weigh how much is left in this container. All right, duckies are in. Um, we're gonna let this completely cool down before placing the lids on the jars. So let's go ahead and see how much extra we have because I feel like it's substantial. And I bet if we didn't put as much body wash in it, it would have a better texture. So I feel like 64 ounces is just too much. So let's put one of our white pitchers on here and tear it out. Then we'll put the white pitcher containing all the extra liquid on here. So I have almost 12 ounces left over. So I feel like instead of using 64 ounces, we should just use 52 and see if we get a better consistency. So I'm a soap maker, a bath and body crafter by trade. So I have extra jars to put this in. But if this was just a single craft kit you bought, you would be left with a bowl of just slimy body wash that you can't put in anything. You'd have to put it in Tupperware. So just to make sure that we're measuring correctly and that I didn't accidentally overshoot it, let's pour our next round of body wash together before I take it to the microwave. And this time I'm only going to add in the 52 ounces. I'm gonna shoot for like supreme accuracy here. I'm just putting in the teeny tiniest bit at a time. Okay. You can see 52 ounces. Let's go heat this up and try again. This time around, I got everything much, much hotter. I actually microwaved this for five minutes, which brought it to an almost completely liquid state. I wonder if this is gonna help me incorporate it a lot better. It could have just been that everything needed to be hotter and that was my problem. So I'm gonna pour some off into this container here. I'm gonna pour my xanthan gum into it, just like this. Let's start by just blending it like this and see if I get a better result. Maybe I was mixing it too hard, too fast. Okay, that's a little better. Let's add some more of our hot soapy mixture here. Maybe I just needed to add it a little bit at a time and that's the key. Okay, so this is really, really smooth. It's also really thick, so <laughs> let's see. Okay, I feel like at this point because of how hot everything is, it's going to incorporate a lot better. There's hardly any chunks at this point. It's just one big smooth mass. So maybe it'll be fine. I'm still going to use the stick blender if it doesn't start incorporating right away because uh, I mean, there's just not enough time in the world <laughs> to spend mixing that in. Like I'm just not gonna mix something for 20 minutes, you know? I'm gonna use the stick blender for sure. <laughs> Okay, so this is a lot, a lot, a lot better. It still would have been, I mean, nigh on impossible to mix all this together by hand, but with a blender, this is super, super smooth and there's no chunks in it whatsoever. It's also still much hotter than the other stuff. So I feel like as it sits, it's gonna thicken up beautifully. I'm gonna get my polysorbate, my fragrance, and my color ready to go. Okay, mix up my color. And this time I'm not going to foof it up. I'm gonna try to keep it as runny as possible. And um, 
It smells so, so good. All right, let's go ahead and pour this in and we will mix it in as they told us to, which is very gently kind of folding it in, if you will. Yeah, this is looking so much better and I bet as things cool down, it'll get even better. So what have we learned? Use 52 ounces of the body wash and heat it for longer. Now everyone's microwave is gonna be a little bit different. So if you know, oh, I have a microwave that almost fries my food, then maybe you don't need to put it in for five minutes. But the consistency of the body wash should resemble like two steps above water. It should be very, 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 very runny. If your body wash is looking like my first batch, it's too thick and it's not hot enough yet. Okay, so now that I have that all mixed in, I feel like it's not gonna be too hot, like it's not gonna melt the plastic, but it is still a bit warm. If it's not gonna melt the plastic, I'm probably safe to go ahead and pour. Let's see the pouring consistency. Yeah, a lot gloopier this time around. That is so good to see. Whoopsie. Let's just pour some right on the table. <laughs> Here is my now empty white pitcher and there are my jars. So you can see they're not filled to the brim. They're filled where they're supposed to be to leave room for these ducky guys. And because it's already a thicker consistency, they're floating on the top so, so beautifully. I really think they should have for one of these slime kits, the color blue so that they can have the ducky sitting on blue water. I just think that would be so cool. And then I'll just put this last one on here and we will let this sit out for about four hours. I think that's gonna be what it takes for the body wash to come back to the consistency it needs and to let everything come to room temperature so that I can seal them up. But with those minor adjustments, this is looking so cool and it does smell super good. So I'll see you guys in a couple hours and we'll check on these products and see how they're looking. Okay guys, I let these jars sit for a full three weeks, 21 days. I wanted to see if I ran into any of the problems that I read in the reviews on the Wholesale Supplies Plus website. There were a few problems that a lot of people said they got with this kit one of which was separation. You can see here at the bottom, there is a clear area where there's a lot of liquid that didn't stay emulsified with the rest of the purple. And it's only been three weeks. So if this was something I was planning on gifting, it would not be giftable at this point. And it certainly wouldn't be very shelf stable um, for your recipient. So this is what it looks like on the inside. Still quite runny. I would say that this is a little bit closer to a true bubble bath consistency. And most people put that into a squeeze top jar for a reason because pouring it out of something like this would be incredibly messy. And it certainly isn't at a slime playable texture. You can see here, whenever I tried to play with it, it was just really oozy. It was really kind of snotty, not, not a fan, but both of these bubble baths worked really well. Now, the one I added more thickener to, you can see the bubble bath did kind of turn our little duck over, but he's still relatively clean on top. And he doesn't just look, I don't know, he doesn't look like gruesome in any way. Also, the slime texture is a little more there. You couldn't really play with it like a slime. And I'm not even sure that Wholesale Supplies Plus wanted you to do that. They didn't say like, play with your bubble bath before you pour it in. Um, they just advertised it as being like a slime. So I guess if you add in more thickener, that's exactly what it is. You definitely have to stick blend this. You absolutely have to. But does it work as a bubble bath? It does, it really does. It actually does an amazing job as a bubble bath and the fragrance is nice and strong. So you're sitting in a scented tub when you get in and I really like that. Final thoughts and conclusion on the slime bubble bath kit. So loved the fragrance, loved the colors. Think that they're really fun. I mean, they're so 
vivid. I can see how this yellow could potentially be problematic. <laughs> I honestly really like the jars and the lids as well. I also really liked how many of these you get to make. You can make 16 of them and they are full size products. Things that could definitely use improvement. The recipe itself. Obviously, you need it as much thickener as I added to the second batch. It needs to be stick blend. It, it absolutely has to be stick blended. Otherwise, you will have little chunks here and there, even if you get your bubble bath really, really hot. Um, so I would like to see that that on the instructions telling people, listen, you're going to have little clumps and bumps. That's just how it is. Or alternatively and ideally that they need a stick blender for this kit. It is a functional bubble bath. It is not a functional slime. Okay. So I think there is some good marketing there. Kids love slime, but they can't play with this like they can a slime. It's just a slightly thicker bubble bath. Also, the separation here, not really sure what caused that. Now, as far as the price goes, I would personally prefer to make less of these, i.e. not 16 of them. Maybe we make eight instead and take that $106 price tag down to $53. I would really like to see that. I think that's a more affordable option for more people. And I think without the recipe changes, that's still probably too much. <laughs> if you want to make something similar, if you want to try the kit, awesome, I'll leave you guys a link down below. But if you want to make something similar because their bubble bath base is so truly good, um, you can get all of these supplies individually at Wholesale Supplies Plus. So you can still get the bubble bath if you like it, mix it up with some of your favorite fragrances and all of that kind of good stuff and maybe put it into a more functional squeezy container. That would be amazing and that would be such a good gift. So thanks so much for watching. We've done it. We've tried bubble bath slime, this soap mess. So much fun. Have an amazing day and I will see you in the next soap mess video. Bye for now. Yeah.